Uh, we need to ask you why you got me here. How come you haven't moved me over here? How come you haven't done this for me? Curse God and die because that's exactly what you'll do. If you keep cursing God, come on, and you keep complaining, and you keep murmuring, you're going to wind up dead. Come on. And I'm being honest with you. Come on. I'm telling you what the Holy Ghost is putting on my heart this morning. Come on. If you want the walls to come down, come on. the walls of adversity to come down out from around your mind that has you blocked right now, it's time to praise God. Go with me to Joshua 6. Uh oh. Woo. Man, I feel the Holy Ghost already. That was the opening. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo. In this day, where God is pouring out of His Spirit, Satan sends his most tedious generals to try to get you to be what he's called the priest. To try to get you to fight with your family. Come on. To try to split marriages up. Oh, yeah. To try to get you angry, aggravated. Come on, friend. Anybody feel angry and aggravated? <laughs> what do you think that's for? That is an imp. That is one of imp sent by Satan. He's got many of them. And they'll try to agitate you and aggravate you and get you to speak against God. It doesn't mean you lose salvation, but you won't walk in victory. You may be saved at the end. But you'll sit right here and live a defeated life when Jesus is giving you the keys. Come on! Here. That's right. When Jesus is giving you the power to bind and the power to loose, nobody uses them because they have no idea. Because they stay blocked and they stay complaining. Well, I guess God's got me if He won't put no more than I can handle. <laughs> How many of you hear that all the time? Come on, yeah. I'm telling you some of the best poems and and songs, and songs came to me when I was weak. I mean, I was tired, my heart beating out of my chest, I'm sweating, sweat burning my eyes, and I'm praising God, and I'm excited, and bam! Supernaturally, he turned something on in my mind. All the time, yes sir. Boom, 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 boom! I'm telling you something, I know not nothing I've made up. Not something I've read off the internet. Come on. I'm telling you for real. Come on, Bridget. This is real, y'all. Yeah. This is real. David knew this. Mm -hmm. David sat out there and he got with God one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. That's what he wants you to do. Uh -oh. He didn't go to the temple. He didn't go into town. He stayed right out there and got with the Lord one-on-one -on -one and started just worshiping God. Mm -hmm. Come on. So you can imagine when we assemble together in one accord and get all that mess out of our minds of the days and the weeks and, and, and the bills and all that stuff that we're thinking about from day to day and get all that mess out of our mind we start praising Praise God, God for what He's done in our lives. Yes, sir. Praising God that we're still here Come and on. able to make a difference in the world and able to spread the gospel. Praising God, guess what happens? Woo. He transfers. He transfers. Then walls come down. Oh. Joshua 6, verse 1. Now Jericho was straight to shut up because of the children of Israel, none went out and none came in. <laughs> Let me stop right there. Uh -oh. Do you feel like everything is shut up on you right now? Come on. The bad's not coming out and the good's not coming in. <laughs> when the word comes forth, it just drops right there before it gets into your ears. Come on, preacher. The good's not coming in and the bad that's inside that you want out is not coming out. Do you on. feel shut up? Come Hello? on. Do you? Come on, preacher. There's sometimes, I'm telling you, sometimes we feel shut up just like the walls. Yeah. And the walls around Jericho has shut this place up. No one's coming in, no one's coming out. Come on. Just like when I preach this gospel, sometimes it falls on deaf ears. It's not going in, but guess how it can get in you? Do you really want victory? Come on. Yeah. Do you really want the power of God in your life? Come on, Bridget. Let me keep on. Uh -oh. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into your hands, I have given into your hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty man of valor. And you shall compass the city, all you men of war, and go about Go around it, about the city once. Thus shall you do six days. Mm -hmm. And seven priests shall bear before oh. the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns. And the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. Uh oh. What does all that mean? Uh oh. Seven is God's number of completion. Yes, sir. The priest would stand for the high priest, who is Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, my goodness. The ram horns. What in the world could that stand for? Remember the story of Abraham when he's about to sacrifice Isaac. 
And the angel says, don't do it. What's in the thinking? There's a ram in the booth. In the thinking. All this points to Christ. Come on, son. It points to Christ and crucified. That your faith is there for the power of God. But there's still something else. Uh oh. That's why he's lining them up with trumpets. Right. <laughs> And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, there you go, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with uh -oh. a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before. Uh oh. These walls were 15 foot thick. They could ride a chariot around the whole city on top of the wall. They were huge. There were giants in Jericho. Yeah, yeah. And they were mocking these little Jews walking around there. <laughs> what in the world are these little creatures doing? Who do they think they are? They're not getting in here. That's what the devil's doing to some of you. He's mocking you. Oh, yeah. I've got you. I've got you in a headlock. I've got you running to doctors for help. I've got you. You ain't getting out of here. I've got you trusting in the bank and in your 401k. Uh, on, I've got you trusting in your savings account. I got you. I got you trusting in your job for security. Come on. All this is about to fall. Well, I got you. Yes, sir. I'm going to destroy you because you're trusting in the arm of the flesh. I've got you. I've got you. But guess what? Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm. Jesus, amen. The seventh, the God's number of completion, huh. he completed it at the cross. Oh. He said, it is finished. It is finished. But you have to understand that when you put your faith in what he did, praise God, and you start praising him for what he did. Come not on. what you do. Come on. <laughs> Them walls will yeah. fall flat. Yes, it will. But you've got to praise him. They could have walked around there with no shouting, no trumpets, no singing, no nothing. And nothing wouldn't have happened. Oh. Now, they didn't understand this, this information. They're like, why would we do this? This is kind of a weird way of warfare. <laughs> Joshua, what are you telling us to do? <laughs> Like when some of y'all are going, what are you telling me to do here, Daryl? You, you're kind of strange. I don't understand this. Well, they didn't understand that either, but guess what they were? They were obedient. obedient. That's right. Yes. There is obedient praise that brings down the walls. <laughs> that brings down the walls of adversity. Obedient praise. Watch this, because they, they did it. Verse 6, And Joshua the son of Nun called the priest and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant. That right there symbolizes the presence of the living God. The Ark of the Covenant symbolizes the presence of God. That's why they carried it like they did. Mm. And let seven priests, the high priest is Jesus, bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the Ark of the Lord. And he said unto the people, Pass on and compass the city, and let him who is armed pass on before the Ark of the Lord. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of ram's horns passed on before the Lord and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. The presence of God. The presence of God was there with them. And the presence of God was in their situation. Y'all see what I'm saying? The presence of God will be in your situation.